Welcome to our channel. In today's The Hindu Editorial Analysis, we are going to discuss Sustainable Development Goal which came and this is going to be very important for your GS Paper 3 component of Indian economy. And at the end of the video, we will also discuss UPSC previous year question which was asked regarding the same. Let's go into the today's editorial and this article was written in the context of today being celebrated worldwide as World Population Day. So this author who is trying to write this article, he wanted to link the concept of population with respect to sustainable development goals and the issues arising out of population and how it is leading to threat or challenging to SDG. And at the second component of his discussion, they are trying to discuss India's progress regarding achieving sustainable development goals and this is going to be very important for your UPSC prelims and mines. So before going into this article, let's try to revise or um, recall some of the things which we have studied about sustainable development goals. You know very well what is sustainable development friends, that is the concept of development where you are trying to meet the needs of present generation. That is, you are not trying to overuse uh, so that the future generation should not suffer. So you should make sure that the resources are available for future generations to come in such a way judiciously we have to use. That is the concept of sustainable development. And under sustainable development goals, this has been set in United Nations. And um, all of the member countries who are part of this, they are asked to achieve this. And one thing is, it is a voluntary mechanism. It is not a legally binding mechanism. It is not a legally binding. This is something which we need to remember. So there is no any harsh punishment for not achieving it. And uh, one more thing what we need to remember is under sustainable development goals, we have all are wanted to achieve 17 goals. For each of the goals, we have kept so many targets. And overall, if you see, we have 169 targets to be achieved under these 17 goals. And uh, even though we have 17 goals, friends, under STG, there are three uh, uh, main components or goals under this which are considered to be the heartbeat of SDG. That is, uh, one is about harm, um, that is poverty, reaching a state of no poverty. Second is regarding reaching a state of zero hunger. And third one is about providing good health conditions to the people. So, these three are considered to be the heartbeat or core component of SDG. And with respect to that, today we will have a discussion what is India's progress on that. So let's go into this article which has been discussed here. Here the author is first as we said already, he wanted to discuss the issue of population with STG. And while discussing population issue, we need to discuss primarily about three prime components which will lead to increase or decrease in population. The first one being the fertility. That is the birth rate. Second one is the death rate. That is the mortality. And the third one is the migration. And with respect to fertility friends, um, we know the concept called as TFR. That is the total fertility rate. And with respect to India, a fer total fertility rate of 2.1 is considered to be replacement level. That is uh, averagely every woman during her child uh, giving stage, how many uh, babies she is producing. Averagely it is considered to be 2.1. So that is the, uh, if India is able to uh, continue with this TFR of 2.1, what does it mean is, uh, the future previous population generation will be exactly replaced by the future population in numbers. But if you are going uh, below a number of 2.1 means we are having a negative population. So India is now trying to reach that level of 2, 2 in 2.0, that is almost 2 in the year 2021. This is something which we need to be uh, understanding in a clarity. Reason being that friends, uh, when the fertility rate actually, if it is leading to decrease, it will have a lot of implications. One implication is that what we need to understand is the size of the family will decrease. So if small family size means one more thing is the number of dependents in the family will also decrease. Dependents means the childs who are less than 14 years and the senior citizens who are above 60 years who cannot work and who are dependent upon the other people who are doing work. Such a population will decrease and working age population will increase in India. And under that condition, what is very, very important is we need to uh, take care of this population by providing them some kind of skills. Because India is now going through a lot of this working age population. That is what we call as demographic dividend. So what is primarily required in India is to realize the potential of demographic dividend. We need to provide skills to the people and we need to also create jobs. This is something India needs to do if it really wants to make use of the decrease in popularity that is fertility because it will one way positively help the GDP of India. But coming to the second component, mortality. 
that is mortality is about the death rate and with respect to death rate india is having uh, because of good infrastructure that is health infrastructure whatever we have made so due to that the mortality rate has decreased so fertility rate is also decreasing from 2.1 to 2.0 mortality rate is also decreasing because of better health facilities we are providing due to that the life expectancy of the people is increasing and when life expectancy increases we need to remember the old age people is going to increase when old age people are increasing their numbers we need to uh, take care of them by providing a proper medical facilities that is called as geriatric care and this is something which we need to take care in future because health is going to be one prime component in sustainable development goals as we have discussed the three heartbeat of sustainable development goals health is one prime component under this so that is why we are talking that much attention to fertility and mortality both are covered under the health component now coming to the third component that is the migration and with respect to migration what is very common in india is rural to urban migration this rural to urban migration here both men and women are migrating but women are not finding any good opportunities as compared to men that is men are significantly taking up the opportunities women are whoever is taking that opportunities regarding work also they are facing lot of discrimination with respect to work spaces there is a gender inequality which is prevailing in india so this needs to be addressed <coughs> because under sustainable development goals friends under the 17 goals this gender equality is also one of the important goals so due to this only this author is linking the concept of population with sustainable development goals let's now try to understand what is india's progress because india's progress only they have been discussing here and in the second component and that is some of the key takeaways which we need to remember for upsc mains examination that is what is the progress india made with respect to achieving SDGs. So these targets has to be achieved by 2030 and this is 2024 we have only six more years to go that is why this author is bringing that attention as we know very well we have talked about under SDG there are three heartbeats that is what we are going to discuss again that is number one is the poverty and the poverty we wanted to bring it to uh, zero poverty level second one is no uh, hunger state that is something also we wanted to achieve and the third thing is good health facilities these are the heartbeats and we will try to assess these three goals how is india's progress so let's come to the first one poverty component and with respect to poverty component if you look at today's data that is the recent data which we are having is according to that india is having as per 2019 data roughly around 10 percent of the indian population they are suffering from poverty this is something which is going to be very difficult for india to achieve if you really wanted to achieve a state of zero poverty or no poverty level that means we have to again decrease 10 more percentage and we have only six more years to go and that is going to be a bit tougher for india but with respect to poverty what are the government initiatives which has at least made a good progress means reason being that india if you look at at the time of 1990s we had roughly around half of the indian population in poverty but after lpg reforms only today we have reduced poverty to a good level but still we have a road long to go to achieve sdg goal in 2030 now uh, what are some of the good measures india has done in this last 30 years from 1992 or 2020 means one of the prime scheme is a narega scheme this has made a good way in reducing rural poverty in india because we know we are providing uh, jobs to unskilled people in rural india and that has reduced poverty in india second one is the janani suraksha yojana this is a scheme which is concerning about providing free institutional deliveries especially to the poor women and due to that uh, the poor women's health expenditure has really came down and uh, this is something which has really helped the poor people as well and made them to come out of poverty so overall if you see what is india's progress means really uh, we need to still reduce 10 percent in the coming six years let's come to the second component crucial component that is hunger with respect to hunger also we need to achieve zero percent by the year 2030 and what is india's status today according to various data what we are having is roughly around 16.6 percent of indians are uh, suffering from hunger as per the date of 2021 and even if you look at the global hunger index 
वर्ल्ड वैड दिस इज कंसिड टू बी अ जेनुअन इंडिकेटर अंड अवट आफ दिस इंडिया हेज बीन रैंकड अवट आफ वन ट्वेंटी फै कंट्री हंड्रेड एंड लवन दिस इज अ डेटा रीसेंट डेट आफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री हियर आलो इंडिया इज नाट पर्फॉमिंग वेरी गुड एंड वाट इज अ गवर्मेंट इनिशियेटिव यर हेविंग मीन पोषण स्कीम इज दर बट स्टिल दिस नीड्स टू बी रिफॉम डू बेटर एंड मेक इट मोर टारगेटेड टू हेव बेटर अवटकम्स अवट आफ द स्कीम सो कमिंग टू जीरो हंगर स्टेट अगेन दिस इज गोयिंग टू बी स्टिल डिफिकल्ट मोर डिफिकल्ट दैन पॉवर्टी now coming to the third main component that is health and with respect to health this author is mainly bringing the crucial indicator mmr and mmr means maternal mortality rate whenever is woman is giving a birth to a child uh, how many deaths are happening in india this is usually calculated for 1 lakh uh, women and out of the 1 lakh women as per uh, 2020 recent data we are having in india roughly we are having 102.7 that is roughly 103 women are they are suffering from mortality out of every 1 lakh uh, births which are happening while going for child bearing stage that is child producing stage so this is something a serious concern which we need to look at reason being that under sustainable development goals So by two, uh, 2030 india needs to achieve a range of that is less than 70 and still we have a long way to go this is also something india is far uh, actually in reaching its target target actually so overall if you look at it what are some of the challenges of sustainable development goals and what what it will take really uh, for us in the coming days the challenges means we have, we have studied very well population is the biggest challenge because the population is having a demographic demographic shift by the year 2050 indians will be having 20 percentage of old age people and we need to take care of them by providing separate healthcare facilities if you wanted to ensure good health that is something we need to have a change in policy decision not only that one more big problem what we are having in india is according to oxfam report that is oxfam report is an international genuine report according to this report top 10% of the indians they are actually having almost 77% of india's wealth this is uh, talking about how much kind of inequality is there in india and what kind of inequality means income inequality so if you really want to provide a better solution for india to achieve sustainable development goals this author is uh, telling that first we need to reduce uh, that is this income inequality that is something he is talking about so we have to reduce in- income equality inequality not only that we have also talked about promoting that gender equality so it is also called gender we have to reduce gender inequality this is also something we need to remember if india wants to improve its target not only that with respect to health what is the biggest problem is we need to have high budget allocation for getting better outcomes with respect to health because health is something that will improve only when really spend on ground and india alone cannot have that much budget we need some international cooperation so overall if we could improve these segments in the coming days and taking care of the shift in demographic uh, shift that is the old age population increase as well as the increase in um, working age population we need to provide them with upgraded skills and create jobs for them to come out of poverty so these are some of the key takeaways from today's video let's come to the today's answer writing practice question friends this is a question which has been already asked in upsc 2018 mains exam in gs paper 3 and it is a 10 marker question regarding sustainable development goals let's look into this question which has been asked here access to affordable reliable sustainable and modern energy is seen to on to achieve sustainable development goals comment on the progress made in india in this regard friends again this is a question regarding uh, that 17 sustainable development goals one goal is also concerning energy so try to write some answers regarding that try to collect data about india's progress in achieving the uh, energy targets under sustainable development goal and here while writing the answer what we need to primarily look at is uh, you need to address this directive comment so you have three stands to take here either you can support india has made a good stand, a good uh, progress or you can take a stand against india or you can take a balanced stand appreciating some and criticizing some as this author has done in today's in the uh, editorial i hope today's video was very much useful to you we'll again meet in tomorrow's video thanks for watching friends